Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. So this is uh, obviously finger style. What I'm going to be teaching here is his main rhythm part, which he would play probably live. There is a lead guitar part that is over it for a lot of the song. We're going to just kind of ignore that. Uh, the song sounds great just with the, the regular, it's got all the chords and uh, all the nice finger picking patterns without all the little lead fills over it. Okay, so we're going to start here with the intro and a D minor chord. Now you're going to want to play this D minor chord with these three fingers instead of putting your pinky here, which I like to do usually. Because we have a moving bass line. So you need your pinky over there for that. So we got a D minor chord here, and you're going to pick across from the D string, then the G, B, high E back down to B and the G. So all the way up and back down. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing, but instead of the open D string, we're gonna place your pinky here, at the fourth fret on the fifth string. So that's the note, the string you're gonna hit with your thumb now, and the other three notes down, uh, stay the same. kind of dissing it, but it's just a passing note there in the bass, and then now this next one, it's the same notes up here, but then you're going to want to hold this third fret with your pinky here, because now you need the third fret on the A string. You do the same picking pattern. On the very last note though, lift your second finger off that G string, so the G string will ring open. So we have... All together. And then you're gonna, when you lifted up your second finger, that gave you time to come over to this B right here and hold that with your second finger. And your first finger is gonna go and grab the first fret again here on the high E string. And we have the G string is open now. All right, now I'm going to pick up that first finger and move it over to the first fret on the um, A string. And the picking pattern is the same, so we have an open G and an open high E string there. So just kind of, bass line just kind of move through. So let's do it again. Now we're just going to change to um, basically straight quarter notes. We have just the first fret on the fifth string, third fret on the B string. Now I'm picking that with my thumb and my middle finger. Then the open A and then the second fret on the B. Then reach over and grab the third fret on the low E string and the third fret on the G. Hit those together. Then back to the zero and the two. Then we're gonna have two in, on the A string, three on the B. Move that up two frets. So far we got Then jump up here to the 8th fret, you got the 8th fret on the B string and the 8th fret on the D string. You hit those two notes together, and then 6 on the B, 7 on the D, and then 5 on both strings again. So we have... Now in the intro he adds a little trill at the a little quick hammer on pull off onto the 6th fret and back to the 5th on the B string. And also, when he's not singing over it, sometimes I'll add the G string in between those chords. So he goes. 
So I'll just play an open G in between each one of those. Just there on those three. All right, so that's the entire um, intro. Like I said, there's a lead guitar part over it, so just ignore that little thing. So now we get to the verse where he starts singing, and the picking pattern changes a little bit. We still start with the D minor chord, though. And the picking pattern is going to be thumb on the D, index finger on the uh, G string, and then the B and the high E string play together with your middle finger and your ring finger. So we have... Back down to the G with your index, and then the open D with your thumb, and back to the G with your index. So we have... All right, so that's our new picking pattern, and we're going to take it through the same chords we did in the intro. So that thumb is, I mean, the fourth finger is going to come over here. So you saw that the only thing that changed in the picking pattern was what, in the right hand, was what string. I'm playing the bass note on. So it was the open D string and then it was just on the A string the entire time. All the other notes and the fingerings stayed the same. All right, and then we have the same little. Turn around there, except he doesn't put the trill on it. All right, now we go back through the chords again, but they're gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna start with that D minor again with that same picking pattern we just did. Now, you can hold this one with your pinky here, though. Because you're going to use that because we're going to come over and play the third fret here on the A string. All right, now the first fret. So we're going to do that chord, that first fret on the A string, third fret on the D. So let me play this together, what we got in the verse so far. changes a little bit you're just gonna be you still keep your pinky there on the third fret on the B string put your third finger to the third fret on the low E and you're gonna pick the low E string the index is gonna pick the open G then the middle finger is gonna get that B string then the open G again with your index thumb on the open D and then uh, index on the open G so we have We're going to do the same picking pattern. We're just going to change a chord. First fret on the sixth string, second fret on the third string there on the G string. I left my pinky where it was at, so we have. Now up to the G here, we're going to. That's just uh, thumb on the low E, index on the G middle on the B, index on the G, then the open D string, you're going to let that ring for four quarter notes. So we have, uh, then we have one of these, it's the end of the verse, so we have, basically it's it, that zero two again that we did earlier, then two and three the open G after it. So we have a quarter note, then it starts speeding up. Uh, two sets of eighth notes. The open G, then the high E, and then the open G again. So we have... Alright, then go back to that 0-2 chord. It's a quick little hammer-on pull again. On the three, up to the three, back to the two. Open B. 2 again. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so that's the whole verse. You'll He plays that twice through, and then he'll come back to it later in the song. Um, so let me just play through it really slow so you can play along. Now we get to a D major. We were in D minor there. We get to a D major section. All right, then we'll repeat that. So just start here with a D major chord. I like uh, you can play it like a normal D if you want at the beginning. But it might be easier to switch to what's coming next if you just play it with a little bar across three strings, the second fret, and then your second finger there on the third fret on the D string. I mean the B string. So we have uh, same picking pattern that we did in the verse. Again, now we're going to play the fourth fret here on the A string, so the bass notes change, so that's the string that the thumb will play on. Then we do a full bar across five, well, uh, across five strings at least. So you get that second fret there on the A string. Then just go down to the regular D. So we have. Now I'm going to come to this 3rd fret here on the low E string, 4th fret on the G, and then 3rd fret on the B string. You have to pick that thumb, index, then come over with your middle finger onto the open high E string, then down to the B string with your index, then repeat those two notes. So we have... Alright, now shift down to the 2nd fret here on the 6th string, and the 2nd fret on the G. And your pinky is going to play the 3rd fret again here on the B string. And uh, do that same picking pattern again. So we have... Alright, then we have... That's just 6th string open, G string open. High E string open, back to the G string, third fret on the B string, down to the open G again. So six note groups is what it is. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, then we have a little lead in that zero two, open G after it. Two and three, open G, four and five, open G, and then it would just start over. All right, so after he plays that first, I guess that D major could be, uh, I don't know, the chorus, I don't know, he's not really saying the title of the song there, but um, the D major section, the first time through it, he goes back to D minor, uh, but it's instrumental, and there's a little guitar solo over it, but Underneath that, it's it's really similar, obviously, to the uh, verse, but we have uh, a little bit different picking, so we're a little bit more subdued. So we have the D minor again, just like in the intro, that that pattern right there, straight up and down. Now here goes the pattern for this actual part. When you put your thumb down on that fourth fret, that's just thumb. Index on the G, middle fingers got the B string, back to the index on the G. The 
fourth string with your thumb and then G string again with your index. So we got. So continue that pattern by just putting your third fret here on the uh, A string now, replacing that with your pinky here to the third fret on the B string. Now we just have second fret on the A, still third fret on the B, everything else open. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a second fret there on the G. Actually, no, it isn't. It's open. All right, and then zero, I mean one to the third fret on the B string. You've seen these chords before, and then this little ending. He does that little trill there again. The only difference of what we've done before is starts with that same chord. And when he goes to that zero two, he pulls off to the B string. All right. Then we go back through the verse and all that good stuff. After the second D major section, he has this little outro. And we'll finish the song with this. All right, so that's kind of cool, kind of eerie sounding. We have seventh fret on the D string, sixth fret on the B. So pick the uh, G string with your thumb, middle finger with the high E, then the index gets the B string, thumb on the G, so we have this. And then open high E, and the sixth fret on the B. Another six, you know, note pattern. One, two, three, and then we have a harmonic at the fifth fret on the D. I'm gonna pick kind of close back to the bridge. It helps those harmonics come out. Fifth fret on the over the fifth fret on the D, then the fifth fret on the A, then back to the D, fifth fret. So we have. Repeat it three times. And then just gonna end with this chord again, strum across the fourth string to the first string. All right, so it's kind of a, it can be kind of hard song to play, but you know, work your way through it section to section. And I think it's a great figure style workout with some nice stretches and it sounds great when you get it together. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. I'll be back with another one soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.